how to warp multiple layers in Photoshop. Now I'm just going to create a couple of layers. So layer and layer there. And I'm just going to create quick gradient. So just, just something. It could be an image. It could be anything. It could be some text, etc. Now what I'm going to do, just going to create another new layer. And then there. So I've got two layers. Now, if I select both those layers, and you can find the layers in there. So I've got two layers selected. If I go to Edit Menu, and then Free Transform, I can still do it. Transform, Scale, Rotate, Skew, Distort, Perspective. But Warp is unavailable. Don't know why. However, that's the way it works. So how to actually warp both those layers at the same time. What you can do, go to Layer Menu, and Smart Objects, and Convert to Smart Object. That's all one smart object. See a little smart object there. And what you can do, you can go to edit, and again, you still got the same free transform, transform, but you've got there warp. So warp's available. And now what you can do, I'm just going to quickly there, navigator, so I can just quickly distort the design using the warp. Now, also, another feature, of course, you can use transform, and you've got these options if you're using 220. So add it there and just warp it there as well. And you can continue to warp the designs. You can create some really unusual designs using that. Once you've done that, press return. Now, another thing you can do is you can still modify the underlying designs. So you just go there and double click on that and it will open a PSP document. Once you're in the PSP document, what you can do, you can go to each of those layers, and I'm just gonna go there, and go to Edit and Transform, and they're available, Warp. So obviously I'm just using that one layer. Now again, I'm just gonna use Navigator so I can see the bounds there. I can distort it. And also what I can do, Press return. I can also add a blending mode. So I'm just going to go for maybe overlay or difference, or darken, or multiply. So you know, just go with one of them. Otherwise, I could just go backwards and forwards, running through that. Now, what else I can do? And go to that one, and again, edit and transform and warp. I can warp that create all kinds of weird and wonderful shapes. And again, press return. Now it's a PSP document. What you can do, you can simply close it. So just close it there and save. Now that will update the smart object. So you see your new design there. And you can go back and do that at any point. Always double click on it again and edit it again. But what you can also do, of course, is you can hold down the Alter Option key, rotate that design, press Turn, and you've got two designs here now. So if I select that and that, now they're smart objects. If you go to Edit, Transform, you've got exactly the same problem. No warp. But you can always go to Layer and Smart Objects convert to smart object. Now, that smart object, I'm just gonna go and use the navigator so I can see the bounding. So I'm going to edit, transform, and warp again. So I can distort it in multiple ways. Drag that out there. So once you're happy with your design, I'm obviously could continue to warp that, but I'm not going to go any further, but just to show you that you can warp it. And there you got your design. I'm just going to zoom in now. So you can create some very unique warping designs using that approach. And of course, once you've done that, what you can do, you can do exactly the same again. You can, and of course you can do it with multiple objects. So if you want to, you could select all of those, go to layer, smart object, Convert to Smart Object, and then of course go to Edit and Transform 
and walk the game if you wanted to do that. I'm not going to go any further, but you could do that if you wish. So I hope you found this tutorial of interest. Please subscribe to the Graphic Extra channel. Always any new tutorials about Photoshop, Finity Photo, Finity Designer, Painter, Illustrator, and many others. Also, please add some comments. Always appreciate it. Always nice to hear what things I'm doing right, what things I'm doing wrong. Also, a dislike or like. Thank you much.